Hi everyone and welcome to Season 10, Episode 6 of From Hope to Glory at Truro City with me, the United City FM. Welcome along. So today it's Leeds United who are the opponents, first place second in the championship. And we are sitting in first. If we win today, I think it opens up a big enough gap that we can start talking about automatic promotion. If we lose, maybe we'll get drawn back into the pack for the playoffs. So it's kind of important. Let's see how we get on. So here we go, real crunch game today. As I say, if we go and look in on the league table, after 33 out of 46 games, so we've only got mm, 13 to go, we sit top of the table. Now, the important thing for me is not necessarily uh, winning the championship. I'd absolutely love to, but to be honest at this point, if we could get just an automatic promotion spot, then that would be incredible. And to do that, I think today, if we win, that would put us quite a way ahead of um, the chasing pack and give us a little bit of an advantage. Of course, if we lose to Leeds United away from home today, as I say, first place, second, then potentially we could get drawn back into the pack a little bit. So it is kind of important that we try and keep up this uh, momentum in this run of form. Leeds have had a little bit of a dip in their last game. They lost to Reading. So that bodes well for us, whereas our form has been pretty decent in the last couple of games. So all in all, quietly confident, although Leeds United are a very, very tough team. So recent form has been very good. We have had that one loss recently, but it was in the FA Cup in the fifth round against Watford. And I basically decided that I didn't need a cup run as much as I needed Premier League football. So I put all of my reserve side into this particular match. Lost it 4-0 to Watford, who are a very good side um, compared to where we're currently at. They currently sit in 16th in the Premier League. So they're doing OK this season. So we came a cropper against them. But since the last time you and I were together for this AFC Wimbledon match, you can see that we've had three wins in the league. A 3-0 against Hull, 1-0 against Stoke and 2-1 against Middlesbrough. Today though the opposition steps up again and it's Leeds United. It's going to be a real tricky one but I really genuinely feel we've got a good chance and this recent form in the league when we're all fit and healthy look at it stretches right the way back to the start of the new year for January we went on a brilliant run hasn't really subsided since then can we keep that going today? Oh who knows. So in terms of personnel for today's match, we have one or two issues. Uh, Adeniran, our rotating uh, ball-winning midfielder, he's uh, suspended, having picked up too many yellow cards. Mark Thompson, uh, uh, Marcus Thompson, should I say, who usually plays in this number 10 role, he's out for today. Just a little bit of a knock will be out for a couple of days. And then we've got uh, Ibrahim, who's ineligible because we've loaned him in from Leeds United, so he can't play against his parent club. So those are the main issues that we've got. Darnell Clark will be on the bench, even though he's got a little bit of a, a, a knock. He can still play 45 minutes for us. Fink starts the match at right back, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Everybody else is pretty much fit and healthy. Having played that game against Watford recently, most have got um, game time very recently. So they're all in pretty good um, condition just at the moment. So for today's crunch match against Leeds United, top of the table clash for, uh, for the championship, we go with Mbeu in goal, Fink at right back, Fenn at left back, Reddy and McCann in central defence, Kane, Williams and White in central midfield, Wright Phillips on the right, Sarmiento on the left, who's been scoring goals recently, which is fantastic, and Abu Bakar up top, with a bench of Archer, Clark, Sarula, Barry, Chiwunga, Opoku, sorry, and Battersby. So let's get into today's game and see what happens. <laughs> 
So I've gone with a fairly chilled out gesture, but a very positive team talk. Hands in the pockets, very chilled out to say the recent standings have Leeds in fifth place in the form guide. And we currently sit first in the form guide. So let's show them why. A little bit of positivity, uh, just letting them know that they're in good form. They've got a really good chance. We are, of course, away from home. So that's always going to be a little bit tricky against one of our direct rivals at the top of the table. But... They're going to be as worried about us as we are as them about them, I would hope. And let's see what happens. Very early chance with a Williams um, free kick, early doors. But Leeds defend it very well. And Knox goes on a very, very mazy run on the counter-attack. And eventually, it's only the goalkeeper that gets in the way of him putting in the ball in the back of the net and giving Leeds a 1-0 lead. But they've got a corner out of it. Corner comes in, headed clearance. Right, Phillips on the ball at the top of the box. Can't turn and find some space to run into. And eventually Leeds quash that and the highlight goes. But we restart again at six, just under seven minutes in with another highlight for us. And right, Phillips was a fantastic shot and it goes underneath the goalkeeper. Now there was a really lovely, lovely moment in this, <clears throat> excuse me, in the build-up. We'll have a look where one of the players leaves the ball. Let's have a look. Kane is on the ball, drops it into White in midfield. And there is the one where Kane leaves the ball and it completely scuppers the defence, goes through to Wright Phillips, who then puts the ball under the goalkeeper into the far po uh, corner from where he was. And we go up 1-0 and just around 10 minutes of the game gone, which is a phen uh, phenomenal start. You can see we've also had more possession than they have as well. So we're competing very nicely, keeping the ball, frustrating leads potentially a little bit. If we can keep this lead for a little while and just settle the game down a little bit, maybe we're in for a good one here. It's always a bit tricky. To, you never quite know whether the team are going to show up. But coming up on half an hour now into the game, and we have shown up very much so. We are competing very nicely. The possession is still up. The chances are there in terms of our creation of them uh, alongside what Leeds have done. So we are competing in that respect. And we have that one goal advantage at this moment. Uh, 40 minutes on the clock. So five minutes plus a little bit added for, um, for injuries just at the end of this first half. And it's gone pretty much as well as you could imagine it would, really. A very fair, a fairly early goal, should I say. We've competed in every aspect of the game so far. Our XG rating, the expected goals, is a little bit low for a 1-0 lead. But OK, we'll, we will happily take it at this point. Now it's about how can we make this team realise that they've got to dig in and properly go for this to make sure that we don't lose this lead. So we've got plenty of options. We can go sort of uh, in their face a little bit and make sure that they're uh, aware of what we need to do. Or we can pump the fists and rile them up. Or we can remain very chilled out. I think we're going to go with a very chilled out, to be honest. Just, just very chilled out and see if we can find a way to get them through. So we'll say we're very pleased, keep it going. Uh, but we didn't put any pressure on them. Let's just hope that we can pass the ball well enough in the second half to keep it away from Leeds United. But Leeds start with the, uh, the ball and they've got a highlight as well. But eventually the ball goes over the top and the goalkeeper for us comes out. Uh, and gets rid of that uh, danger and now it's right Phillips down the right hand side it gets all the way to the side of the box before he runs into a bit of a stumbling block and then on that occasion Knox really really wanted it more than ready and that's really poor defending by him was really on his heels very very slow to react to the danger that was around him and Knox ultimately had another attempt at goal but didn't quite manage to beat the goalkeeper a real warning shot that though, that if we're not on our game totally, then Leeds United have an awful lot that can hurt us on the counter-attack specifically. We still remain in control a little bit of the possession, but that stat has dropped. Here we go, Fink with a long throw aimlessly though. Uh, that's not quite what I was hoping for from him. And eventually it does give the ball away to Leeds United. Now we've got a couple of very key people on yellow cards here as well. We are going to have to protect them, I think, because this is going to get quite competitive as the game draws on. Right, Phillips, back to Kane. One of those two yellow cards. Uh, Reddy is the other one I'm worried about. 
think not so much at right fullback, but a central defender and our ball winning midfielder, both on a yellow card. We had a decent chance then. We uh, built the play up very nicely, but didn't quite come to anything. And then Mbeo comes out off that long rangey free kick and really sorts his area out with no problems whatsoever. And defensively, that looked a little bit better until the long ball over the top again is too direct, too early. And we're giving Leeds too many chances. I just uh, want to change that a little bit. We've got Fenn who's struggling a little bit. One yellow card away from suspension. But he might have to carry on. That's the, the advice that I'm being given. We'll go in and we'll see what else we've got to work with here. You see we've got Herbie Kane on a yellow card and low conditioning. So he immediately comes out. What we're going to do is we're going to bring Chiwunga in. Um, but we're going to switch he and Barry over, uh, not Barry, Williams over, should I say. Williams will go and play that uh, ball-winning midfield role. And Chiwunga slightly advanced in the Metzala role. So those are the two central midfielders sorted. We've got this yellow card at the back here for Fink and Reddy. It's Reddy that I'm most concerned about. So we're going to take him out and put Archer in. And then we need one maybe in the attacking third. And it's going to be Abu Bakar simply because he's not doing great today. But Battersby has been scoring a few goals recently, so we're going to give him an opportunity to carry on and see if he can continue to do that. So those are the changes we've made. We're not going to make any changes to the way we play just at the moment. We've got uh, 20 minutes to go, 70 minutes on the clock just gone. So we've got 20 minutes to go. I think we're in a decent position. Leeds United uh, have certainly had some chances against us, but they haven't made it pay. Uh, we're going to go into the um, uh, the shouts just for the last 10 minutes and ask for focus just for those last few minutes of the game. But it's Leeds United who have a chance. McCann gets a foot in. They, they still maintain possession though and that's unfortunate. It was coming a little bit just before that. You thought maybe this is going to be the highlight and it turned out to be Leeds United work a good uh, situation in our uh, penalty box off a throw in we get a good block in there but the ball falls nicely to west back to Jones who then gets it out of his feet and there's a ricochet into Knox we're a little bit unlucky I would say there defensively I thought we were trying as much as we could to get bodies in front of the ball uh, but now it becomes about can we hold on to the draw and not lose this match we're going to drop back into cautious just for the last couple of minutes of the game just to see if we can see this out. A draw against our absolute direct rivals is not a bad thing. It would have opened up the, the gap could we have beaten them. Um, but ultimately, not to, um, not to come away with nothing, I think is pretty decent against a very tricky Leeds United side. But we did compete really well. Possession stats we had the best of. XG rating they had the best of. And that's kind of key. We created our chances though. Put a fair amount of them on target. So all in all, I'm not unhappy with this performance. A 1-1 draw against our second place direct rivals. I will take it. So we remain two points clear of Leeds United at the top of the table. We're now four points rather than six points clear of Blackburn Rovers who are currently in third position. So they're closed up the gap a little bit. They've taken advantage of our draw at the top of the table. So it is still a three-way clash for those two spots. Can we hold on for that? We're going to find out this week, basically. The rest of this week is going to be dedicated to Truro City. Just while I'm sorting out a couple of uh, thoughts and issues with the new series in the background that's going to start next week. So this week, all about Truro City. Can we find a way to get that automatic promotion and get ourselves into the Premier League? Let me know at this point in the comments below what you think. Are we going to be able to get automatic or will we get sucked back in and go into those playoffs and Blackburn taking the spot maybe instead? Let me know what you think. Also, there are one or two things that I'm thinking in terms of uh, having quite made a decision on the new series. So if you've got any really interesting ideas, chuck them in the comments below on this particular video. And maybe next week we'll start your idea. Who knows? I've got one or two of my own. I've got a couple that have uh, been given to me by other people. I haven't quite decided. Chuck a couple in the melting pot if you would like. Types of series or specific clubs or a specific uh, idea as to what you want the series to be about. Any of those things would be really, really helpful. So yeah, chuck them in the comments. Let me know. And also remember, I'm now on twitch.tv forward slash the United City FM every weekday from 3 p.m. till 5 p.m. UK time. Sometimes a bit earlier. 
come onto my uh, Discord or my Twitter feed and you'll get advance notice on when that exactly going to go, when I'm going to go live. But that's going to basically do it for today. Let's figure out what we're going to be doing for next episode in this particular series. As we approach the end of this particular season, we're going to come back and I think we're going to play... Oh, I can't resist. We're going to play Brentford. Brentford is my uh, hometown in terms of where I was born. Haven't lived there since I was seven, but it's uh, definitely my hometown. So we're going to come back and play Brentford in the next game in the championship to see if we can hopefully secure that automatic promotion spot. So join me for the next episode. Thank you for joining me today, though. I really appreciate it. Until next episode, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join my United City community. The more the merrier. Click that like button on this particular episode. That'll help me get seen by lots more people. Make sure you go and come and join me over on Twitter and Discord for all the information about when I go live on Twitch or when these videos are going to drop on YouTube. Until next time, though, take care of yourselves. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.